So, write it down here. No, we are, we are doing, we are doing, that, that's uh, for forearm and foot length. Uh, okay, so write it down here, the first, yeah, blank. And then we are calculating small r. What is smaller, by the way? What is r there? What is r? Correlation, yeah. The r is the notation of correlation coefficient, which measures the degree of association between two variables. So we have two variables here, forearm and foot length. How much associated is the two variables? To find that, we will measure r, correlation coefficient. Now, how to measure r? Any suggestions? How to measure r? No suggestion? Square root of? Yeah. Hey, it's written here. Okay, so square root of r square. But keep in mind that this capital R square is not small r, theoretical. Mathematically it's same, but this r square, capital R square has different meaning. But mathematically the values are same. So now to find small r, how to do? Take a square root of? Point? point Why not 38.1? Yeah, so that's percent. So you have percentage. So 38.1 divided by 100, convert it to decimal points, and then take a square root. Keep in mind that the correlation coefficient can't be greater than 1. We have a big population. We have a big population, and that's binomial distribution. Let's. See. So you have two outcomes: success or failure. You have a p. P means probability of probability of success. So you're tossing a coin, and p is probability of getting a head. Clear. So if, if x is a random variable, follows a binomial distribution, OK? Now let me take sample. And the last graph, the last graph is the, the graph of sample proportion, p hat or p cap now is it is it bell shaped is it bell shaped is it symmetric it's quite it's right skewed isn't it the right tail is longer than left tail <laughs> what is going on <laughs> Why, what is going on? Is it some this week a Halloween week? Yeah. <laughs> Something inside the machine? <laughs> Stop, man! Delete that. Again, open that. Okay. So this is not a symmetric graph. Is it continuous? Why? Hmm? No. <laughs> Is this a continuous graph? What happened? Continuous? No. It's not continuous. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why not? 
Tell me why not? Why the graph is not continuous? What, what do you think? Just try, try to answer. Your guess. Just guess. It is not a continuous graph, I am telling you. Now, why? That you have to tell me. Is there any gaps between the bars? Yeah. Is that why? Yeah. <laughs> there is gaps in between the bars here. So that's why this is not continuous graph. Clear? Any questions? <coughs> now, can you please give me this? Answer me. What will be the answer of 1A? Is it clear? Hmm? Yeah. Good. And no, the test statistic. So T is the test statistic, so that value is negative 13.97. Good. And P value? Zero. Come to question six. What will be the conclusion? on the basis of your p-value. Reject and why reject? P-value is less than alpha 0 0.05 and we can strongly reject because p-value is the lowest, it's zero. So we can strongly reject the null hypothesis that the average number of, number of hours per day watching television. What is mu? What is mu? The average, the population mean? We always want to test about the population quantity. Not the sample. That means H not, you can't write this. This is wrong. Clear? This is wrong. If you write H not is X bar is equal to 2.98, this is wrong. <coughs> Why? Why wrong? Because? Mu is not? Yeah, sample mean. So this is, we want to estimate mu by the sample mean. But always we want to test the population mean is equals to 2.98, which is a say, mu naught. 